<laughs> oh man, just another day. Well, hello. Welcome back to the vlog. Glad you're here. Today I'm taking you on a little behind the scenes action. We're at 6 8. We are at 6.08 a.m. That's my brain has not fired yet because I have not had coffee. You know how we like to start off a Monday right there? Boom. With the chick. It's not a day I'd, I typically film. Got a lot going on, doing some work with the Guggen squad. And I'm going to pick up uh, one of our camera guys right now and we're gonna head up to the lake to go meet John here in a little bit. But we just cannot start the day without some Chick-fil-A, so I'm gonna get some Chick-fil-A for, for all the boys before we get started. Started off right, you know? Mm, good to go now. If you guys have never downloaded the Chick-fil-A app, let me just introduce you to awesomeness right there. It just pops up every once in a while and says, hey, Guess what? We like you today. Here's a free sandwich. Now that I have kids, I'm gonna be up at that place all the time. You know, to go to the playground. Probably just gonna load up on some nuggets though. Okay, we have fuel. Now it's time to add the fire. Good morning. Yeah, I'm doing a little behind the scenes today with uh, these fine gentlemen. I hope you have some warm clothes. Yeah, this is as warm as it gets right here. It's warm as it gets in Florida. I think it'll be good. Let's check on, uh, let's check on old Gare real quick. Look at that Christmas tree. Hey, Gare. Well, the gills are looking shysty. Gary's looking fine. Arowana doing his deal. And there's his, his buddy. Catfish is growing right there. He's in the deeps, in the darkness. Y'all ready to roll? I got Chick-fil-A, I got coffee. All ready? Life is excellent. All yes. Right. Dang, dude. Take, taking care of life on Monday. Dude, Wes, ready to bring that fire. Get the fuzz out. The fire. Oh, you're gonna definitely need that fuzz today. The fuzz wad. That thing does good in high winds, though. Just rolled up to the ramp, had to add some layers. Oh, this is a cold one. This is a really cold one. Uh, John just got here with Lucky. Y'all ready to go make some movie magic? Let's make some magic to. movies. I got a good white bass hole. You do. I do. Is it out of the wind? No. John's backing into the weeds over there. This is good. I hate the cold. What's up? Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm with the, I'm with the man. If you guys don't know. Wes. He's basically the uh, senior director of photography, executive producer, and uh, hashtag just good buddy of the squad here. You do make magic, Wes. It doesn't matter. You can take an iPhone. I, I wasn't asking for a shout out here. I was just kind of what we could do. I'm, not, I'm, I'm just telling them the truth, is all. Thanks, y'all. John's with me. <laughs> oh man, just another day. We gotta try to find some fish. We're doing, we're making like three videos today. And um, it's hard to do when the fish aren't biting. Hopefully we, uh, we trigger the strikes. I have no idea what John's even doing. Woo! I don't know if y'all can see in there, but that is some back meat. Hashtag back meat. We just let the Mondo go. Oh yeah, you eat skin off. Wait, Wes is gonna try some Eddie Ray's it's time first time sausage stick. Ourselves. I eat the whole skin on it. Oh yeah, you just put it in your mouth. Give it a go. Is it frozen mm. still? Mm. No. That so was perfect. smoky. Dang Thank yeah. you, Eddie's. <laughs> See? Everybody loved them Eddie Ray's. Some people think I'm sponsored by them. I'm not. I just love this them. This is so good, dude. Yeah. I think next spring we're gonna have just tons of these in the boat with us. <sighs> Y'all, we just made, we made fire juice. Fire juice. Big ones, sniffing. Ooh. Actually, we had a, we had a little bit of scripting. Thanks to Wes, uh, he keeps me on, on track. But I'm telling you guys, he makes all these awesome videos you see on the Guggen channel. And uh, there's a lot of them too that, that aren't on the Guggen channel and Wes makes that are just Fire! It's his eyeballs. I appreciate you. Yeah. It's one thing to shoot, it really is. Like, you can you can be a good shooter, but you gotta have an eye for like how it's gonna come together and imagination. 
And uh, I like doing that. Wes is the man. He is the man at that. So it's always good. I always learn stuff from Wes. All right, we gotta go find John. We gotta uh, try to go catch the white bass now. That's our second goal of the day. We nailed the first goal, which was to make a, uh, a fire little promo video. We got her done. Now we're gonna eat some deer sticks and go find some white bass. Just chill. White bass and chill. Put it on a shirt. I don't know. I like the packaging on this. Yeah. It's pretty sauced. We're dangling deep. Y'all, we're winning today. These are dub days. These are dub days right here. Probably got like eight eight uh, white bass in the box right now. Oh, this is what I'm doing, you see? Right there, see that? Bam, right off the bottom. There's actually fish on it, oh. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. Dang, oh, I had him, Wes. Oh, I'm on him, I'm on him. Sometimes I like it when it's just sitting. Throwing a little blade bait, literally just kind of hovering it over these small schools of white bass. There's nothing big about them. The, the white bass are big, but these schools aren't big. They're just feeding on little pods of shad. I love doing this. Love it. 23 feet of water. John kind of was, he was comparing it to, uh, to ice fishing. Look at these fish right here. I'm about to get smoked. Smoked. Biggest group so far. Biggest group so far, John. Biggest group. It's candy. It's like taking candy from a baby. Please get in here. I'm telling you. Oh, they're moving through quick. Come on now. Oh, we're doing big things. I'm talking, there was probably a dozen in that wad. No way, just moving through. Yeah. Are they chase the bait or just moving? They, they were moving. They were like 10 foot all the way down to 23 foot on the bottom. Half my bites have been just I'm like looking at the graph and it's sitting there. Why does that blade just move, you know? That blade on the back. A little kicker, yeah. Some of them have just tickled it. Any day, any moment. As soon as the camera turns on, it's like, oh, there's one. Come on, please. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Ooh, what is going on? It's like that big group came in and watched out. It's like a group of spotted bass, maybe. Oh, 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 oh! On the way up. Oh, ah! Wes, you're a champion. I just want you to know. I want to get one for you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know, right? When I stopped, I said, you're going to catch one, so I'm not going to stop it. It's all good. Here we go. Big ball of bait coming in. I'd like to do this for pike. Yeah. You could. So the, oh, oh! There he is. On. Sitting still. That is the buzzer beater. PP spot. PC spot, right? Oh, here we go. What is that? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, this might be something. Oh, here we go. For real? Yeah, I'm serious. This could be a big spot or something. Oh, it's in the large mouth! It's a large mouth. Dang it. <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, come on. Don't worry. Come on. We're good. Redemption. Don't worry. It's a redemption. It's a redemption. Don't worry. Oh. Keep going. Keep going. Do what you were with. Dang up. How big? It was a three pounder. No way. Yes. Go. Just hammered it. Oh. You never know. This is, this is why I like doing this this time of year. Everything kind of huddles around these creek channels out deep around points and everything. So you could literally catch crappie, white bass, largemouth, catfish. It's all out here. <laughs> it's fun. Do you want a white bass? Yes. Put them in the cooler. He didn't, he didn't know I had five float around in my boat. Nicely done. Well, that's a wrap for fishing day on the water. Fantastic day. Caught a few largies. I actually ended up catching one on uh, one of the MTB baits. It's like a deep dive, it's a blade bait. It's a blade on a blade. Uh, I hooked into a, a decent size, three pound largemouth on that. And uh, of course, you know, caught a, caught a toad, caught him on there. Now it is time to go throw some white bass into the grease, y'all. 
of my favorite things to do. I love catching white bass and crappie and putting them in some grease. Stay greasy. Trust me. What? Get my keys. Yeah. Oh, sick. Yeah, I have your keys. Go put on the trail. Tell Wes to keep coming. Keep, keep coming, Wes. Sir. Very successful eating sesh here. Y'all, it's time for me to head back to the crib, though. Brian, I gotta let you go. You let me go? Yeah, I gotta let you go. Peace like out, a guys. sweet release. Peace out, guys. Had fun today. I did too. It was a good dangle. You're a good chef. Thank you. I'll give you that. Thank you very much. See? It's not just Stephanie. <laughs> All right. See you later, man. See ya. John, good dangle today. What's up? I said good dangle. Good day, my friend. Drive safely. All right. Take care. Peace. Peace. Peace on the streets. Totally dark. You guys can't see. It's time to go back to the cave. I got to check out my wood, see how it's doing. The wood is looking good, y'all. Next day right here. Got one more coat to put on, uh, put on my table. And that video is going up soon for you guys. By the way, I woke up this morning to find a uh, samurai sword in my boat. I guess uh, John forgot to take it out last night. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It was literally like sitting right here on the front deck as I came out to my boat this morning. We're about to totally switch gears from fishing and go to the archery range. Me and John, we're thinking about doing a little archery range competition with different kinds of bows and I didn't even know John shot bows maybe he doesn't I don't know it's gonna be fun so I think today's video was definitely different uh, not really showing the exactitude of the fishing talk about the fishing just behind the scenes filming and if you guys like it let me know in the comments I normally do not film on the days that uh, I'm filming with the other camera guys just because it's another camera more gear more stuff to carry around I do appreciate all the work that um, Wes and Bryant and uh, all, all of our guys do, and they're very good. And I, I hope you guys enjoy the videos over the Guggen channel that these guys produce. So if you like today's format, just a simple vlog behind the scenes, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be glad to take you along next time. If you're unfamiliar with the channel, I mostly do outdoor content. It's fishing, it's hunting, it's just enjoying the great outdoors. I have a great appreciation for it. I'm up in the business, the outdoor industry business, I also have a brain tumor inside of my face, and I vlog about that sometimes. And I'm sure a lot of you have come to this channel for that. And uh, anyways, uh, everything's good at the moment. So I love you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, thanks for being here. Um, and thank you for all the support. If you're doing some holiday shopping for a fish and frig, don't forget to stop by at the merch store. Link's down in the description. We can pick out some of the new gear. Help support the channel and the family here at the Tree House. Appreciate you. And I'm off to make more videos, y'all. As always, make sure you're having a great day, blessed day in the outdoors. Enjoy the freedoms and sights and sounds of nature. I certainly do. And I'll catch you out there on the next one.